Here at Lucky Paintball we realize how many spiders are out there that aren't being used because they don't perform up to today's standards. Older spiders like this Imagine were designed for tall plastic feed tubes. We all know how well those held up. There's no reason this gun shouldn't be able to rock a current, low-rise clamping feed tube like this one. It's adjustable, it's shorter, it'll hold your hopper better. We're going to do it with this Lucky Spider feed tube adapter. It's as simple to install as it looks. First we need to remove these two screws that hold this tall feed tube in. Use just an ordinary Phillips head screwdriver. The screws might be cranked in there, but it shouldn't be too hard to get them out. Don't lose them. We'll need them for the lucky feed tube adapter. Once those screws are out, this tall feed tube just falls off. The lucky feed tube adapter much be, might be much tighter in place. That's okay. Just remember, this is supposed to hold your hopper on and you might want to rock a heavy pulse or even halo to keep up with your rate of fire when you're done with this gun. We have other tricks that are coming. We'll use the screws to force this feed tube down into place a little bit better. We recommend red Loctite on these two screws that hold the feed tube in place. We're almost done here, so you can just admire the lucky Unitech barrel while we wait. Now, still have a second screw, and again, we might be using the screws a little bit to force that all the way into place. The whole idea is it's supposed to hold your hopper a little bit better, so it might be tight. Now you might want to use a drop of Loctite on the feed neck. It would go just on the threads, just right between where the feed tube adapter and the feed neck, just right in here. It's up to you though. And that's it. Now this feed neck adapter is designed for impulse threaded feed tubes. So pick up one of those and you're ready to go.